Emily was really energetic. She was um, athletic. She had two older brothers that really pushed her to kind of want to join the crowd. And she loved people. She loved school. Like in many other girls, she loved playing dress up. Emily um, came home from the school a little bit more tired than usual, and she developed a fever later that night. Uh, we took her to see her pediatrician, uh, and there she was diagnosed with the flu. Over the weekend, Saturday, uh, she seemed to be much more lethargic. She was vomiting a lot. And Monday morning, we made an appointment with the pediatrician for that early that afternoon. About 11 o'clock, when I was downstairs, I heard my wife um, start screaming for help. Emily wasn't breathing, and, um, and so we you know, started doing CPR and, and called the paramedics. And they took her to the emergency room uh, at the local hospital. They had you know, gotten her heart started again. The, uh, the doctor pulled me aside and said, we've done everything that we can. We can't give her any more medication. I mean, it's the medication that's sort of it's keeping her heart and the machines that are keeping her uh, alive. And, you know, we couldn't detect any brain activity. And so they stopped giving, giving the medication. And uh, I don't know, nine o'clock that night, you know, we, we just kind of said goodbye. what we uh, want everybody to know is that influenza you know can kill children learning from us that make sure that you do whatever you can do to protect your children from influenza